in 2016, there was a paper published in the Australian Veterinary Journal that looked at the results of diagnostic testing on patients presented to veterinarians for wellness testing or, or for routine checks. So this study looked at 406 dogs and 125 cats. To be enrolled in the study, the owners had, had to perceive that they were well at home and there were no changes on the physical examination by the veterinarian. They also weren't allowed to be on any chronic medications other than things like preventive care like dewormers or heartworm prevention. Things CBC and a biochemical profile and ideally a urinalysis was performed on all these patients. What they found is there weren't that many that didn't have changes on their blood tests. And these were adult animals, um, you know, dogs five to eight years of age, cats six to nine years of age. When we looked at it, a number of animals had changes that were considered relatively minor, but 6.2% of the dogs and 19.2% of the cats had changes that were considered to be significant that would warrant further investigation. So that was changes such as a significant anemia, significant neutropenia, uh, at least iris stage two kidney disease, elevated liver enzymes, and we're not talking mild increases in liver enzymes, they had to be beyond, be beyond five times the upper end of the reference interval. In cats, an elevated alkaline phosphatase is always significant, and there were some cats with that. There were cats and dogs with elevated uh, pancreas specific lipase levels um, so significantly elevated with that. I think it's also important to remember that whilst you know, we said 6.2% of the dogs, 19.2% of the cats, there were significant numbers of cats and dogs that had what were referred to as mild changes. The take home message from this study is that these were patients that were perceived to be well by their owner and were considered to have no significant changes on their physical examination by a veterinarian. So with 6.2% of the dogs and 19.2% of the cats having significant changes, it gives us evidence to say that there is value in doing diagnostic testing um, as part of a wellness or preventive care visit.